six plug-in slots is probably adequate in most cases. Although if you do need more, click on the edit button to the right of where it says plugins. This opens the plugin configuration page. This window is for managing these Category 2 VST plugins. Click on the Add Plugin button to add more. You can load and save your plugin chains by clicking on the Load Save buttons. They are given the file extension PLG. You can also load your saved plugin chains by clicking on the downward arrow to select from the list. In comparison to Track Effects presets, there is a slight difference in functionality when saving object effects presets. With objects, you can only save VST plugin chains. You cannot save Category 1 FX inserts as a plugin chain, neither can you save a mix of FX inserts and VST plugins as a chain. I'm sure this situation will be remedied in a future update. I'm going to load one of these VST plugin chains now. In this case, they are the Magix VST plugins. This chain comprises of five plugins, but as you can see, only three are open. The two EFX plugins are not showing at the moment. If I select the EFX phaser and click edit, it opens. Same with the EFX stereo delay, click edit to open. Disable the plugin by either unticking the checkbox or clicking the on off button. You can change the order of the plugins by using the up and down arrows. You can also switch a plugin from pre fader to post fader. Click on the downward arrow until it moves to post fader and vice versa. Use bypass all to bypass all of the plugins. If you want to remove a plugin, select the plugin and press the delete button. The force latency box lets you put in your own value, but this only works for some DirectX plugins. Below this is a force mono processing tick box. To the right of that is the setup button, which takes you to the DirectX VST setup page. Here you can define your VST plugin directory and activate rewire. From here, you can also load save plugin buffer presets. The text boxes below let you customize your own presets. To unload the entire plugin chain, you have a couple of choices. I've created an empty preset which I can select from the list. Selecting this preset removes all of the plugins, although this only works with the VST plugin chains. I'll close that window for now. The conventional method for unloading all categories of plugins is to click the FX Routing button. At the bottom where it says FX Settings, to the right click Reset. I'm reloading that preset and returning to the main object editor window. Here you can turn the first six FX on or off by using the buttons next to the plugin slots. You can turn off all the effects by deselecting the On button at the bottom. And finally, clicking on Edit next to the plugin opens the plugin GUI.